What's up guys, welcome back to our Road to Dark Matter series. On our last episode, we got every gun in the game done. And then season two happened like 20 hours after. So, we have some new guns to get gold. But today, we're gonna be working on the new AR, the Farah 83. Or as other people like to call it, the Galil. Really quick, this is our camo progress for the Farah faucet. Spray is done. Stripes were only a few away. Classics done. Geometrics done. Flora's done. Science were halfway there. And Psychedelics done. So we basically just need to do science. So we'll get a few headshots here and there. It shouldn't be too bad, but we got to get a lot of kills behind cover. Luckily, I think the new map Apocalypse could be good for it. So we'll try it out there. But if not, we'll just be sticking to Nuketown and some face off maybe. All right, don't freak out. I'm not using Danger Close. There's no double Tommy today. Only one Tommy. But we're using the Gunfighter perk. I wanted to use more attachments on the gun and try to get it, you know, leveled up as quick as I could this morning. So here are my attachments. I'm using the Axial Arms 3x scope. I was using this mostly to get long shots. So if you want to use a shorter scope, you can. Uh, I might end up switching it out. But for now, this is what we have on. I have the Spetna's Compensator, the 18.1 inch takedown barrel. I would use the last barrel, but I've seen a lot of bad things about the recoil for this gun, and what I'm using now has been working pretty well, so I'm going to stick with it. And then we have the 5 milliwatt laser sight. We have the Spetna's grip. We have the 40 round speed mag, the elastic wrap, and no stock. And just in case you missed it before, this is our class. Tack mask, scavenger, gung-ho, stim, tomahawk, field mic. Oh, we got the katana on just in case we can get a few backstabs. Uh, you need backstabs to unlock the new machete, which I will be getting as soon as I can. And yeah, that's the class. Let's get into some games. One more thing, I was doing all that in a hardcore, so if you're using that in core, it might not work the same. So let's queue up Apocalypse, Nuketown, and I guess just normal domination. Actually, maybe not in normal domination. All right, let's just queue up some Apocalypse and Nuketown. All right, so last night when the update came out, uh, I streamed a little bit. We played some of the new Zombies Outbreak mode, which is really fun, actually. It's all the Dirty Bomb maps, but there's just zombies roaming around on them. And, like, you can do different things and activate boss fights, or sometimes it'll put you in, like, actual, like, Zombies mode where you're, like, in a building and there's, you know, all the, all the windows are boarded up. I don't know, it's pretty cool. It seems, it seems like it'd be a lot of fun with friends. So I'm excited to get into that and play that a little bit. I'm glad there's more options for zombies instead of having to do just the one map to grind. So I think when we start our grind, we'll be playing a little bit of everything. Uh, also, we went and played Warzone. Uh, there's a whole new point of interest. It's the ship. It's got zombies on it. Uh, it's really fun. My first time dropping, the first weapon I picked up was a new SMG. Uh, it did pretty decently. Uh, I think I was in a bot lobby because everyone in there just sucked. But yeah, I think I was in a bot lobby or something because everyone in there sucked. That SMG was just tearing them down. Uh, if you want to see any of that, the VOD is still up on my Twitch channel. But so far, I'm really happy with the stuff they added for Season 2. Everything, like, this new AR is fun. Oh, shit. What the fuck are you crouching at me for? I came out of nowhere. But the new AR is fun. Uh, the new SMG looks pretty good. Or at least from the one time that I've used it. So, I mean, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, the new map looks cool. It looks like Legends of the Hidden Temple, that old uh, Nickelodeon show. The Battle Pass had some pretty cool skins in it. The, uh, the Tier 95 gun. Uh, it's the, the reactive camo for this gun. I can't wait to unlock that. But, you know, it's a pretty like hit, hit or miss uh, Battle Pass for the most part. It's like a bunch of, you know, they have some cool things. They have some like decent operator skins. But then there's just a bunch of like stickers and like accessories that nobody really cares about. I mean, you gotta fill it out somehow. It's hard to come up with like a hundred heaters, like just for one battle pass. But yeah, you know, overall, I think it's pretty good. The tier 100 skin's a little lackluster. But I mean, what can you do? We got new content. They also added like new perks and new uh, field upgrades to zombies. I'm not too sure what they are, what they do yet. They added new tiers to the field upgrades where they can do extra things like uh, healing aura will revive your teammates and keep their perks. Like, uh, I don't They're I like, I like the amount of depth they added to zombies, and I, you know, it's gonna be fun to get into once we get into that. And there we go, we max leveled the new AR. This thing's got really good hip fire. At least this, this build I'm using. Okay, let's hop in the garage here. What I've seen from this gun so far, at least in hardcore, it's really good. I went on, uh, I think I had like a 73 or something kill game with it. Like one of my first few games, just leveling it up. And hardcore, it shreds. I'm not too sure about core. Maybe we'll test it out later. But hardcore, I know for sure it shreds. Okay, let's see if we can get some kills beyond cover from right here. Oh, that would have been one. Come back. Come back. Oh, look at that feed. 
All right, we got to devise a plan to get some kills behind cover here. And we'll go right here. This thing just shreds. Don't you pre-fire me. I'll pre-fire right back. This thing's got such a fast rate of fire. Jeez, they're just feeding me over here. That's behind cover, I think. I didn't even see the other guy. Yeah, this gun is so fucking good. It's hard not to go on streaks with this thing, in hardcore at least. Oh, I have a harp. Let me use that. Oh, that could have been a kill behind cover. Oh, feed. 65 and 36, that's not bad. All right, now we're at 26 kills behind cover before we started that game. How many are we at now? 35, that's not too bad. We still need to focus on our headshots a little bit more. Oh, if this guy's gonna battle me in this window, we're gonna get through these kills behind cover quick. Oh yeah, that's gonna be easy. Yep. All three of my kills are the same guy. I'll come back. There he is, that's our guy. Oh, that's a new one. He has a friend. All five kills are in this one spot. Kill confirm spawns are way too wild, dude. They'll spawn you with 20 people looking at you. There we go. I'm thinking we're getting a lot of kills behind cover this game. Feed. I'm just being a mini-map whore. Oh. Oh, we did get a lot of kills behind cover that game. And we just need a few more headshots. So I guess we'll play this last game strictly on Apocalypse. The new map looks so nice. Even in these little, uh, like loading screens, it just looks good. Let's see if we can get some kills behind cover from up here. Also, this little under area should be good for- Ooh, not that under area. This looks like a good spot for kills behind cover. We'll just hang out here. Oh, I didn't see the other guy. So this map's pretty cool. It's- it's got a bunch of different elevations. Oh, there- there's our headshots. But it's all, like, ramped down this way. There's, like, different pedestals. You can go up here. You can go in between here and down this way. A lot of different elevation changes. That should be behind cover. I was through a little window. Alright. There's some god rays coming through this temple. And I think that means that wants me to throw a tomahawk through it. So let's try it. If that cross maps. I'm going to shit my pants. Look how nice this gold looks too. Whole map looks good. Okay, maybe it isn't the best for kills behind cover. At least the way I'm playing it. Right now we're getting demolished. What? Did we lose a kill behind cover that game? All right, new map's cool and all, but we gotta go back to Nuketown and finish it. All right, let's get this gun done once and for all. That's kill behind cover. That could have been one if I didn't suck. Also, I saw that soon they might be adding zombie skins to Warzone. I checked last night when the update came out and they don't have it yet, but I hear it's in the works. So even more motivation to go for the, the zombies camos. Can I just spawn and not die? I guess not. Okay. I'm 4 and 10. I just need some kills behind cover. And they have a sentry gun in our spawn. Nowhere safe. We're gonna get into a new game. Alright, well last game was a shit show. Uh, maybe we can get it done this game. We only need 5 kills behind cover. Oh, there's always another one. Okay, maybe he'll peek the window and we can get a kill here. Let's go. You should keep doing that. There he is. See if this guy will keep coming to us. Yep. What a fucking throw. Okay. Just need like, what? 
Three more kills behind cover. There we go. Oh, a hit marker. That's what you like to see. No! A whole nother game without it. All right, how close are we now? Two away. All right, we just need two. And that's it. We're done with the gun. All right, just give me two kills behind cover and I'm out of here. That's one. Come repeat it for me and end this. There it is. Let's fucking go. So within the first day, we got the new AR gold. We don't even have the new SMG unlocked yet. We got this bad boy gold. All right, let's see what this looks like gold. So this is the Farrah gold. That actually looks really good. Diamond looks really nice. And Dark Matter is pretty good. They did good coverage on these guns. That looks pretty good. Let me make sure I put Dark Matter on it. Oh, it's sad you can't inspect it with Dark Matter on. We're only one tier away from the new SMG. So we can either do the new SMG next or we can do the machete. So let me know in the comments below what weapon you want to see me do next. The top comment will be the weapon that we use in the next video. Uh, if you like this video, like it. If you didn't dislike, uh, if you're new here, sub. We're almost at 69,000 subs. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.